Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. We are currently in the middle of a war with our former regent, um, Lord Oral Illyrion, who basically took our land from us when we were a child, and now that we're an adult, we kindly asked him for our land back, and he has just said no. So we, and instead he raised his flags in rebellion. Um, we've already gotten rid of one of the rebellious lords, uh, Lord Orlin of the Tor of Ghost Hills, who we personally slew in battle, which is nice. And so now we are just waiting to um, finish off this war and I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna bypass Planky Town and we're just gonna head straight to God's Grace because that is where our wife is currently being held in prison um, all right so we captured Septon Moors of God's Grace so we got their Septon and yeah we're just gonna head directly for God's Grace up oh. My prince, Her Grace Queen Rhaenyra, has taken her last breath. May she repose in peace. Now her heir, Sir Lucerus Valerion, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms then forth. Alright, so some very interesting things are seemingly going to happen right now with the Iron Throne. Um, let's see. Claimants. There's a whole lot of claimants going on right now. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Can we get some of these guys to my court? We can. Princess Vis Prince Viserys would come to our court. Let's see. All right, Viserys, invite to court. Will you please come to my court? Bring your dragon with you. Nice. Viserys Targaryen is now at my court. And I'm going to marry him off to Helena. Keep him in my court, though. Nice. Uh, what are they doing? Prince of Cyrus. Yeah, I already said that. I don't need your thing to do it. Why are they not getting married? I told them to get married. They're in my co They're both in my court. Why are they not getting married? There we go. What? Where'd they go? God damn it, I lost her already? What the fuck? Ignore. Come to my court, you dinks. That was dumb. They just left my court and now they're. Ugh. God damn it. Stop moving around. You're being super annoying. <laughs> Alright, Viserys, you can lead this one too. Um, my prince, I am pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after our siege of God's grace. Hereby turn them over. Send them to my dungeon. Weird, I, didn't, I wasn't able to free my wife? Where is she? She's imprisoned. Hmm. Anyway, we've won the war. Great. And is my wife still in prison? That's dumb. That is really dumb. I freed her. She should be free. Whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. What do we have to do now? Right. Alright. So, first off, I'm revoking your title. High Lordship of Vaith. Sorry. Um, and Lemonwood. Er, Lemonwood, you can stay. But you, you're a bad, bad man. Um, and so what I'm going to do instead, so I took Vaith. So Vaith is now completely broken up, right? Right. So I'm going to give Vaith to someone else, someone more loyal. Lady Bright, the Red Dunes, 
Gargolin. You know what? I'm just gonna give Vaith to Vaith. Right? That makes sense. Well, who has the better stewardship? He has one. She has two. He has eight. I'll leave it to you then. Hide Lordship of Vaith. Boom. There. That guy likes me now, which is great. Planky Town is mine. Even though it should have been mine from the first place, but I'll let him be my vassal. That's fine. It's totally fine. Um, so let's see. Ariana Martel, my sister. She's getting a martial education, so let's continue her education with... How about with this Gascoigne guy? And this sister is also getting a martial education. So weird. I'll give him to her to Sir Peros. Righteous Imprisonment, Sir Trebor. Um, I wonder, will I be able to arrest him or will he rebel? Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm just going to banish him to the Night's Watch. Get rid of him. Easy peasy. No worries. His, I guess his son likes me fine, right? So that's good. All right, nice. So that war ended up a lot better than I was afraid it would. Um, my wife is still in prison, though. Why? Lord Or the Bewitched. Hmm. She needs to be released. Let me go ahead and bring this down to speed two. Speed 3, there's speed 2. Weird, I thought the Iron Throne would be embroiled in civil war, but it's not. That's upsetting. Uh, most people like him. That is so weird, they're just accepting the Valerians. Uh, I'm sure I'll adopt the Marshal's ideas. Um, I said I would build, what would I build? Patrol posts, right? Uh, minimum faith, authority law. What's your current authority, faith authority, low? Fuck it, I don't care. I'm, I'm not in your little kingdom, so I'm not going to bother with you. Uh, what is this? We offer you the safe release of Princess Jahara for the modest sum of ten. Sure. My sweet wife is back in my loving arms. Which is exactly what I wanted. Um, let's see, special actions call him for trial, which is what I'll do. I'll call Lord Oral for trial. Lord Oral the Bewitch has demanded a trial before the court, which Lord Ormond shall oversee to ensure that justice is served. He begins to present his defense, and some uh, decent arguments were made. Many of the courts seem to sympathize with him. Lord Ormond shall interrogate him now. Lord Ormond stuttered, stammered, oh great, great. Uh, an incoherent rambled in front of the accused who rebuked his questions and accusations with ease. Unfortunately, his argument was so boring that many at a court appeared to fall asleep. He made a poor case, and he's innocent. Great. That's just what I wanted. Uh, I have no choice but to release him. At least I'm not stressed. And he's a vassal of a vassal, so he won't be bothering me anytime soon. So that's good. Um, what's my current state with my vassals? Because I know that war probably might have pissed some of them off. Right? No, they're pretty good. King on the Iron Throne, in the name of the Father I, King Lucerus of House Valerion, promise, pledge, and guarantee. Blah, 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 blah. I am no, you're no king of mine. Um, you know, I'm going to educate this guy. I'm going to educate Lord Oliver of Ghost Hills. Since I did kill his father, it seems only right that I, uh, make amends. Great. <laughs> 
Uh, the prayers of Southern Mords have not gone unnoticed. Is there such a thing to limit my power? He's still a traitor. Oh, I have other prisoners to do stuff with. Um, let's see, Lotho. Lotho the Lorathi. Ransom? Okay, they pay a ransom for him. Cletus! <laughs> Cletus. That's great. Uh, let's see. Ransom him. Sure. Moors. Ransom. Ricasso. Ransom. Who's this Gwyneth chick? She doesn't seem to be anything of any importance, so I'm just going to release her. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> So now we'll hopefully get some more money. Your principal is Hominicam, okay. Yeah, you already I already offered to release you for money. So I don't know what the deal with that was, but it's alright. So a patrol post is what I was gonna build, and now that I have money I can do so. Nice. And Cletus also was released. And I don't have anyone else, right? Nope. Who's this guy? Ormond the Lazy, the Hand of the King. I'm going to get rid of you, Ormond. That was some piss poor stuff that you did. Hmm. Well, I would get rid of you, but I have no one really better. <laughs> Which is really annoying. You're lucky this time, Ormond. Master of Laws, Viserys. Viserys would be a way better Master of Laws. That's for sure. How is House Martell doing anyway? Pretty good. Pretty good. Waiting for my sister. I want my sister to have some children. I just want more dragons. Dragons are awesome. Um, Prince Marence Martell, I hereby invite you to participate in the tourney of Starfall, where knights and lords shall test their mettle. A chance to prove my worth, sure. I'll fight an attorney, why not? What could go wrong? Show me the dragons. Alright, so I have... Two dragons here. Doesn't Viserys have a dragon? Pretty sure he does. He does. Dragox, but he's not at court. Oh, because he's not an adult yet. He's still a young dragon. Alright. My liege, my mission to Starfall has so far been a success. Alright, that's good. Um, in fact, I'm going to send you instead to the Iron Throne. Because, like, I want to make sure they don't attack me, which would be really cool. <clears throat> you know, keep them, keep them liking me. I can't attack them, though. Why? It's probably a claim, right? Yeah. Claim Dragonstone, claim the Iron Throne. All right. Uh, after arriving in Starfall the first day, the tourney began in earnest. You tilted against many lesser knights throughout the day, most of whom you enhorsed easily. Now in the coming days, the final round of lists begin, and the opposition shall surely be more fierce. I shall ready my horse. The tourney herald announced the competitors of the next joust. You have been drawn against Sir Desiel of Dunstables. You mount your charge, take a lance from your squire, and ride to the end of the list as Sir Diesel does likewise. Then on cue, the horses break into a gap, gallop. Steady. As you close in, your point, you see an opening. You definitely guide your lance into strike while evading their charge. Hit. You actually struck Sir Desiel with your lance right in the middle of his breastplate, causing your lance to shatter into a thousand pieces as he sent flying from the saddle. The crowd gives a great cheer at your victory and is relieved to see Sir Desiel is unharmed. A fine hit, I must say. You have 
been declared the winner, defeating Sir Desiel of Dunstables in a fine joust. Gain five prestige. Cool. The tourney herald announces the competitors of the next joust. You've been drawn against Prince Viserys Targaryen. You met your charge, take a lance from your squire, and ride to the end of the list as Prince Viserys does likewise, and on cue, the horses break into a gallop. Uh-oh. Well, he's not as good. He's a poor fighter, but... Alright, so steady. You close. And... Expertly struck Prince Viserys. Nice, a fine hit. You've been declared the winner. None can beat me. Gain two prestige. The Tourney Herald announces the competitors of the next joust. You've been drawn against Sir Gerald Gargolin. You mount your charge, take a lance from your squire, and ride to the end of the list. Sir Gerald does likewise. Then on cue, the horses break into a gallop. Um, steady, or maybe some coin can persuade him to fall. I could try that, but no. We're just gonna play it the right way. You charge. Sir Gerald Gargolin took the full force of your lance and was sent reeling and only managed a glancing blow upon your armor. He almost fell off but managed to regain his balance and round the other end of the lists ready for another tilt. I'll knock him off this time. Hmm. This is getting exciting, right, you guys? <laughs> uh, you charge and see an opening. You X-ray struck Sir Gerald with your lance in the middle of his breastplate, okay. Garald is unharmed. A fine hit, I must say. I have been winner of the joust. Gain two prestige. Right, who's my next guy? Sir Gascoigne of Spotswood. A small tourney winner. Interesting, okay. So we break into a gallop. Steady. Uh, your opponent gets the better of you when you meet in the center of the list. Your lance merely makes a glancing blow in their armor whilst their lance hits true. Oh dear. Um... Sir Gascoigne's lance strikes you square in the middle of your breastplate, exploding into many pieces as it hits. The force knocks the wind out of you and sends you flying from your horse. You are left lying in the dirt, defeated as crowds cheer for Sir Gascoigne. Ouch. Sir Gascoigne is the king of the winner, defeating you and eliminating you from the tourney. There's always next time. Lose 25 prestige. No. Well, hopefully that means I get like a second place or something. I'm hoping. It's a shame that, that the ruler of Dorne um, <laughs> got unhorsed, but what are you going to do? So did I not even place at all? That's a shame. Maybe it'll pop up later. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, now they're declaring the winners. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think I got anything, though. Which would be a real, real shame. And I just remember that I have this seduction focus, but I never seduced my mother, uh, my stepmother. <laughs> uh, do I still want to do that? Uh, probably not. There's no reason to seduce my wife. That makes no sense. Uh, is there any ladies to seduce? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna not use the seduction focus. I don't know. The tourney ends, and although I may have not won any of the melee events, my prowess on the list did not go unnoticed, but of course. Did I make any place? No? Yes? Maybe? Uh, plots uncovered, uh, whatever. If it doesn't let me arrest someone, I really don't care. Um, I want to check, who has Blackfire now? Weird, Lucerus does not have Blackfire. Who currently has Blackfire? Not him. 
Did it go to a Targaryen? Oh wait, that's Joffrey. Who did it go to? Who has Blackfire and who has... Aegon has Blackfire. Interesting. Um, so someone I think died? I need a new Master of Whispers. Alright, well, hmm. This guy's 18, but he's... Uh, I'll risk it. What, why'd it go higher? That is dumb. Um, here. Would some money make you like me? A little bit. Great. Now I have this guy who doesn't even like me as <laughs> my master whispers. <sighs> hmm. I would like more dragons. Dragox has arrived at your court. Which, which one is Dragox? Sure, he can be cruel. What do I care? Dragox belongs to Prince Viserys. Right. Right, 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 right. There's plots afoot. What are these plots? Investigates Prince Marin's legitimacy. Oh, Viserys. Please, stop that. You know I am legitimate. That is no fair, good sir. Good. Anything else against me? No. Good. Very, very good. Let's see. My sister is doing okay, but she's not f pregnant yet, which is a shame. There's Spyrax, another dragon who's only one years old. Alright, so we're starting to get quite a few dragons in Dorne, which is great. My plans are coming to fruition. Um, ultimately, I would like a dragon. And ultimately, I would like to build a dragon pit. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I need a dragon egg first. And I know dragon pits decrease the lifespan and the growth of dragons, but I don't. if they're in my court, I don't want them flying away, you know? That sucks. Alright, good. You can be humble. What do I care? Can I not take him as a squire? Hmm. Weird. I thought age 8 is when you can squire people. Or maybe it's age 10. I don't remember. Maybe he needs better martial skill or something? I don't know. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Let's see how our son is doing. Slothful. Well, we want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Not interested in slothfulness. Nope. Is there anything else I can do right now? can attack the Iron Throne, but I don't want to. I'm just, I'm honestly surprised that there was no weird succession crisis. Usually there's always a succession crisis in these things, but it doesn't seem like there is. Oh, Prince Aegon. I could just invite all the Targaryens to my court. Sure. Why not? Invite to court? Yes. Invite to court? Yes. <laughs> Give me all the Targaryen pretenders. <laughs> Come to my court and bring your dragons. And that's all I want. Um, it has come to my attention that nobody has been declared as a regent. God damn it, I keep forgetting to do that. Sorry, wife. I don't want it to be you because you kind of suck. But here, here's some money. And I will give you the Keeper of the Swans. Please like me? What? Why is that not working? That's dumb. 
Um, I'll make someone else my designated regent. God damn, who though? Who? I guess my master of coin. No. Master whispers. No. Hmm. I want somebody actually competent. Uh, somebody who's good with numbers. Let's see. Oh, my master at arms. Yeah, you're a good guy. You can be my regent. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now will the other Targs show up? A young artist is working on Divine Icon of the Father. The aspect of the Seven representing judgment. He needs the sponsorship to finish it, so can we place it in our own sept? I pray for guidance. This we cannot afford. I pray for guidance. Gain one diplomacy. Well, that got me nowhere. <laughs> uh, I accept your Christian invitation. Nice. So we have Damon Targaryen now. With Dark Sister, he's in my court, along with Alyssa Targaryen. Nice. Bring me all the Targaryens, please. And now Aegon is my court also. Yes, just all the Targaryens. Let me check my court. Um, let's check. Just search for Targ. Wow, <laughs> I have a lot of Targaryens. In my court. Well, hmm. This is definitely a different uh, path for Dorne than normal. But the more dragons, the better. That means there's dragon eggs, and maybe I can get one. Uh, these guys are pretty awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. So, more dragons, more Targaryens, the better. Let's check Lordship of Dragonstone. Are there any claimants to that who would come to my court? No. How about any claimants to the Stormlands? Nobody. Alright. So we're doing... I think we're doing pretty good so far. Um, whoa, 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 what happened? Damon Targaryen was murdered on the orders of John Darklin. What? Did Damon just die? I invited him to my court. Oh my god, he did just die. What? Damon Targaryen, no. So who has Dark Sister now? Um, is it Viserys? No. Can't be Aegon. Aegon has both swords. <laughs> Aegon has Dark Sister and Blackfire. He dual wields two Valyrian and Steel swords. Damn, Aegon. You should be on the throne. You're pretty badass. It'd be nice if I could have one of those swords, but I probably won't ever get one. Betroth can marry. Alyssa and Aegon. Um, yeah, fine, whatever. I'm not gonna stop your betrothals. It's fine. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna try to claim any Targaryens for the throne, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. And I think. Okay, I'll go just into May for the next autosave, and I think I'm going to cut the video off here then. Uh, so yeah. Until next time, folks, this has been Dance Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me any messages if you want to know anything, or I should really say comments if you want anything. Questions! It's questions! That's how it normally goes. Leave me any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam, links are down below. And until next time, bye!